Hi, this is Barbara Rosenzweig, watercolor artist, who is going to share her process with you. I happened to be in the supermarket and never without my camera I saw these beautiful tomatoes. Took photos and brought them home to start a new painting. I start with Arches 300 pound cold press watercolor paper, very strong and durable, and draw what I hope will be a brand new painting of tomatoes. After I finished the drawing of the tomatoes, I started to paint them. You can see they're not all the same color or shape or from the same angle, and I have the vines across in different areas for interest. What I'll do next is show you how I get that light colored glow underneath the tomato skin. My first step is taking some water and just putting it in the area where I'd like the highlights to be. I'm just dabbing it on there. Then I'm going to take a yellow, a beautiful bright yellow called New Gamboge and put it all around the area that I want the tomato to be. And I'm only going to do a part of this just to give you an idea. Later on I'll be able to lift the highlights out where I left the water because it won't be very strong there. The color won't be dense. So I'm just going to bring this around here. This is going to be the shadow of this little part of the leaf. So this is still on the tomato skin. I'm going to bring this all around. Again, I'm only going to do a portion of this and make it relatively thick. Then once it's almost dry, I'm going to start with the orange colors on top of the yellow. So you'll get to see what that will look like. This actually is going to be part of the leaf, so I'm going to leave this here. And I don't have to be too careful in getting it on here. I'll let that dry a little bit but not much. Rinse my brush and with the yellow there I'm going to let it dry a little bit. I've now let it dry just a bit and I'm going to add some of the orange colors. It's going to be a little darker in here. It's an experiment with color. Since this is only just the beginning, I'm going to put a little bit of purple down in here because it's near the, the other tomatoes. And then I'm going to start adding a lighter color of the orange with a little bit of this darker one and right on top. And I'll keep varying the color all the way across the orange red-orange of the tomato. Now this is only the beginning and I'm just doing this to show you the technique. And This is something, a variation of what I learned with Ann Abgott, a wonderful watercolorist. This gives you an idea of the beginning stages of this painting. It will take a lot more time as this is only just the start. But I thought I'd give you a little glimpse of how I start painting my tomatoes. I'll keep you posted.